give you a quick run through on how the standard turbocharger works with a factory two port boost solenoid. A lot of people are upgrading these to three ports. We do it on almost every car we have here, but we do get questions on why and how do they differ um, between each other, between the two port and three port. On the factory setup, you've got a T piece that sits between the compressor and the wastegate actuator. There's a T piece that runs through to the, uh, to the boost solenoid and then that comes back through to the inlet. The reason they do this is the factory actuator is designed to hold the, the actuator arm shut to a certain boost level. Once this gets overcome with boost pressure, the actual arm cracks open, vents excess exhaust gas away and you get your um, intended waste gauge pressure. The factory setup can lift that boost pressure up by bleeding away some of that reference air through that solenoid back to the inlet. This is great for factory setups, control is good enough. If you want to run higher than boost, uh, factory boost pressure, the issues arise in that you'll always have an inherent amount of air hitting this actuator arm just because of the design here. So the air can always come through, no matter how much you bleed away, there will always be some here. Now for most setups that's fine, but when you want to get the best control, we swap it out to a three port. So what I'll do next is I'll hook up a three port and show you how they differ. So now I've hooked up the Peerberg 3 port. You can see how it differs to the factory in that it no longer has a T piece in between. It has a single line front running from the compressor all the way to the solenoid, then another line from the solenoid to the wastegate, and then a vent back to the inlet. The main way this improves the control, instead of having a reference always coming across and, and hitting the, the actuator, this has to pass through the solenoid first before coming back to the actuator. I can then control when that actually sees boost reference, so we can hold this shut longer. Offshoot of that is obviously the boost comes on quicker. Then once that needs to be cracked open, we can control it in a, in a more controlled fashion due to the, the, the accuracy of the sensor over the stock two port. Once we start to get up in the RPM, I can then hold boost levels higher if I wanted to, longer, because this will never see, see boost reference unless I tell it to through here. Obviously we can't fit this without a tune, so we install this at tune time. If you install this uh, without a tune to accommodate, the boost levels will go higher because these operate at a lower uh, wastegate duty cycle due to the efficiency of them. If anybody has any questions, just shoot us through a message. Um, alternatively, we have these uh, always available on our website or in store.